With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, the problem states that determine the charge on the capacitor in the following circuit. So we are given with a battery of 72 volt and 6 ohm, 4 ohm, 2 ohm and 10, 10 ohm resistance are connected and this is 10 microfarad capacitor which is connected. So in the steady state we have to find the charge on this capacitor. So as we know in the steady state the capacitor is completely charged. So that also means if the capacitor is completely charged there will be no further current going into the capacitor. So at the steady state we can replace the capacitor by an open circuit. So all we have to find is the potential difference between these two points in the steady state x and y. So let's uh, draw the equivalent circuit in the steady state. This is 72 volt 6 ohm 4 ohm. Now we can see 2 ohm and 10 ohm are in what? Series as the current going into the capacitor is 0. Right. So if uh, these are in series the equivalent will be what 12 ohm and then 4 ohm is connected in parallel with it and then we have 6 ohm connected with a battery of 72 volt. Okay. Further we can see 12 and 4 are in parallel so its equivalent would be 1 by 12 plus 1 by 4 is equals to 1 by R equivalent. So that will become this is 4 by 12 which is 1 by 3. So equivalent resistance is 3 ohm. So we can replace 12 ohm and 4 ohm as with 3 ohm and then we have this 6 ohm resistance connected with a battery of 72 volt right and now 6 and 3 are in series so this will be having a total of 9 ohm resistance connected with a battery of 72 volt so can we find the current current is 72 by 9 which is 8 ampere okay now let's see if the current is 8 ampere so how this current is getting divided right so let's uh, start from here so uh, here the 8 ampere current is coming right now this 8 ampere current is getting divided into two parts in 12 ohm resistance and 4 ohm resistance right so since these two are in parallel so current in the 12 ohm resistance would be total current into opposite resistance which is 4 divided by R1 plus R2 which is 4 plus 12 which is 16. So the current in the 12 ohm branch will become 8 by 4 which is 2 ampere. Right. So that makes here the current going is what 2 ampere. So if 2 ampere current is going in this branch, so this point was x and this point is y. So that also means uh, across, across the 10 ohm resistance current is also flowing 2, 2 ampere. So, can we find the value of Vx minus Vy? Right, so that will become across the 10 ampere Vx minus Vy is equals to I into R. Current is 2 ampere, right, and resistance is 10 ohm. So, this is 20 volts. And as we know the potential difference across the capacitor which is 20 volt. So the charge on the capacitor is C into V. So capacitance is 10 microfarad and volt is 20. So it is 200 microfarad, sorry 200 micro coulomb. 1 farad into volt is coulomb. So uh, 10 microfarad into 20 volt is 200 micro coulomb, right? Which is given to us in the option D. I hope this helps you with the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.